All right. So when I started reading this article by Donna Glover, first it was very very long. It, I'm not I'm not going to try to sugarcoat that. It was very long. But it was very interesting to see his perspective on a lot of things. Um just seeing how it was to be a black artist in television and seeing how like he had all of these like racial guidelines that to the naked eye, or if you're trying to make rational arguments for things, you would think that a lot of the things that he's talking about isn't really a problem because it's like, hey, like, wasn't 12 years a slave made by black people? Like, what are you complaining about? That's not a white movie, that's a black movie. But in it, you see him talking about the whole like media industry in a way. And seeing how all these different people kind of have their hands in the pot about what black people can and cannot talk about. And to see him relate that back to his own series where he really felt like this was a series that could cause him to get a, little, a lot of criticism, but also could be for the greater good as well, was really interesting to see. And I think the author did a really good job of like <clears throat> getting all his points about what he really thought about those type of issues. I thought he did a really good job on it. Now, um, as far as journalism goes, I think that um, the author did a, first of all, the author did a great job in getting all of these different sources and all these little small tidbits of uh, information throughout the whole story, right? Like this, the um, part where he's with them at Donald's house and he says little things like, um, <laughs> He was like, um, his child, he, you know, Donald originally said that he didn't want kids. And now the, um, author of the, this um, author of this story is like, Hey, do you regret saying stuff like that? And he was like, yeah, I mean, not really. Nah, I don't, I don't really regret saying stuff like that. It really showcases just how stoic he is and a lot of his views, but just his comedy, his comedic timing as well is really showcased a lot throughout this, um, whole article and i think if you're gonna do a um a future style like a personality profile on anybody donald glover will probably be a great source to do it on because there's just i mean the author was on set he was in his personal house he was around his friends getting all those different sources and meeting them together really did a lot for this um whole article and for me, it made it a very enjoyable experience to read. And I just was really impressed. It was really great, well-written work. Um, and that's all, like, it was well-written. Of course, it was very long. But everything flowed together very nicely. Even him talking about his beginnings, how he, um, where he grew up, at, grew up at, what his childhood was like. But not starting exactly at that stage when you first get into the, um, the article, the way they originally started is them talking about him being on the set of Atlanta and what that means for black culture. And then they go back into his bat story and then they progress forward back into, again into Atlanta. I just think it was and all of those things just makes it a really great and well-written article for me. And I, I really enjoy reading this and I want to thank you for um, giving this assignment to us. I think it opened my eyes to a lot of different things and it was really interesting to kind of connect experiences from one person to another, even if it was from an article that was seen. I believe that this article was written a couple of years ago, if I'm not mistaken. So it was really interesting. And um, that's all I have to say about this article, this um, article now, this personality profile over on Chadas Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover.